The phone didn't ring again for Katie, not that she expected it to. She did have this wild and uncontrollable wish that Dylan would call her every day or several times a day. To have him say he'd been a fool to leave her as he had. To promise to be back to see her because he couldn't stay away. She wouldn't even consider it, of course. She would say, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. That she wanted to see him, that went without saying. But she wouldn't take that chance again. It couldn't possibly make the whole thing hurt less. She had a few shameless problems over the following week. She couldn't stop herself from going to the grocery store in Fortuna and lingering in the magazine aisle and at the checkout, looking for a familiar face. He was still an item, it appeared, though there didn't seem to be any more kissing on the front pages. It was hard not to buy those papers, bring him home with her, but she resisted valiantly. Still, she kept the one she had, tucked away in the trunk that held other keepsakes. 